Alright, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Sir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Um, I want to go on this lesson on be not righteous over much and uh, be not over much wicked. Okay? Um, in this truth, uh, you have to, uh, you know, walk a straight line. Okay? If you're trying to walk a straight line and you're just walking on one uh, foot, okay, you're just walking on the right foot, okay, you're not going to be, be able to walk on a straight line. And the, the same thing goes for uh, if you're just trying to walk on the left foot, okay? That's why you need to walk right, right foot, you know, then your left foot, right foot, then left foot, okay? And that's symbolic, you know, for, uh, you know, how we're supposed to, spiritually walking this truth how we supposed to to be you know not always being over righteous and not being uh you know uh wicked you know um i got this scripture ecclesiastes 7 and 16 be not righteous over much neither make thyself over wise okay um it says why shouldest thou destroy thyself you know, you have uh, a lot of brothers, you know, who um, who are uh, um, straight up, you know, over-righteous, you know. Um, when it comes down to the scriptures, you know, uh, the thing the scripture says, you know, all things are lawful, you know, but, but not everything is um, expedient, you know. And, and the thing is that you might have a, a case where... You know, like, you might, uh, like the Sabbath day, you know, you, you're supposed to keep the Sabbath day to the, you know, to your, to the best of your ability, but you got different brothers who have different ways of how they keep the Sabbath day, okay? Um, your woman, you know, when, when it comes down to dealing with your woman, you have a scripture in, in the uh, Bible where it talks about, you know, the days of our separation, you know, and, uh, you're supposed to, you know, not uh, touch anything that, um, you know, that the woman uh, uh, deals with, you know what I'm saying, according to the scriptures. But in this captivity, you know, a lot of women are on that period at the job all the time, man. You know, so you're never going to be able to, uh, to escape, you know, all of these, uh, these uh, curses that, that are put on us, man. Okay? So with that said, you know, uh, you you try your best, you know, to to, to, to walk on that, that, that right foot, you know, to the best of your ability. You know? You don't uh you don't be over righteous because you get you have some guys out here that, you know, that say you're not supposed to eat lunch meat, you know, don't eat uh Chinese food, you know, and um yeah, the, it, the chances are most likely that them gooks are uh, cooking up dog and shit. You know, I personally don't eat, um, you know, the the meat from the Chinese stores. You know, but if it's a, if it's a situation where it's a brother and the truth, you know, he might have got you something. You know, what I'm saying from the store. You know, and you might not might not know. You know, you can take it, man. You know, Lord, Lord ain't going to destroy you. Over, over, over something like that, man. You know, you got guys that you know that make it seem like we we're able to keep all the laws that are in the Bible. You know that we're going to be able to remember all the scriptures. You know, and then and then the the, the smallest thing could come up, and that that'd be a stumbling block to them. You know, it says, "Be not over much wicked, neither be thou foolish." You know. So, so with that said, okay, it says, be not over righteous and be not over wicked or over much wicked, okay? Because, you know, we're going to be wicked one way or another, man, okay? That don't mean that you just sit and bask in uh, being wicked, being a nigga, you know? We got our ways with us, with us, man, you know? Every one of us got something with us, man, you know? And, and and we all have 
those thoughts that come to our mind and we have to be able to rebuke them them uh thoughts you know don't be foolish you know uh you can read the proverbs there's many scriptures on how not to be a fool okay over talking people being demonic not even keeping the scriptures when you when you um outside okay it says why should this thou die before thy time you know and that's one of the reasons why a lot of people out here die because they they're over much wicked you know um proverbs 11 and 1 a false violence is an abomination to the lord okay you have a lot of guys you know um it's all about the nigger woman getting on a nigger woman and stuff like that and 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 when it comes down to to themselves they're not even right man you know guys want to you know of course you know the nigger woman is a demon you know, you got some women that, that do try, you know, but then you got a lot of guys that want to sit up there and rebuke the nigga woman as if they, they write themselves, man. You know, your guys not even, uh, uh, being charitable, you know, not being brotherly, you know, guys want to get on East all the time, you know, just want to rebuke all the time, you know, uh, throw up curses all the time, you know. You got to be right, you got to be, you can't be over righteous, you can't be over wicked, man. You know, you can't, you, you can't be wanting to always, uh, um, put up for every brother. You know, you can't always, uh, try to, try to make sure that every brother is good or everybody is happy. You ain't going to be able to make everybody happy. You know, it says, but a just balance is his delight. So the Lord's delight, the Lord delights in, in the people who know that, hey, you know, yeah, I'm an Israelite, you know, yeah, I know the scriptures, you know, you know, but, but, yeah, I'm wicked too, you know, yeah, I have my ways, but, you know, that's one of the reasons why we need a savior, you know, you got to be able to keep it real, man, and what, what applies for you might not work for somebody else, you know, just because you may think like, okay, we not supposed to, you know, deal with women, some brothers do got, got situations where they deal with women, you know, so, so some brothers, some brothers would be like, yo, don't, don't even deal with the nigga woman. But in, in that city that that brother may live in, you know, different brothers go through different things. That might be, uh, it might be a, a, a straight up, uh, uh, Judah woman. Uh, I mean, Judah, um, city, man, you know, for the most part, or it might be just a lot of, uh, Judites that that brother may see, you know, and we know that, you know, you gotta be circumspect when you, when you, uh, look at things, you know? And, and guys um, argue their opinions as if they're facts, you know? And, and you got to be able to stop uh, getting emotional and stuff like that over that, man. Okay? Um, Job 31 and 6. Let me be weighed in an, even, in an even balance that God may know my integrity, you know? And it's, in, uh, it's, it's soul's integrity... When you know, like, okay, yeah, I know that, you know, we're not supposed to uh, be over-righteous, you know, but, hey, I'm going to be humble, man, you know. Yeah, I know that um, I'm not supposed to be wicked, but let me get my shit right, you know. That's when you have integrity to y'all by some y'all side and you walk in the fear, you know. Like, oh, shit, you know, I, I ain't put up a video this week, you know, maybe I need to put up a video, you know. Or, or maybe I need to call a brother. You know, maybe I need to study. You know, but then you got that 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 situation where some guys might just be like, "Yo, I'm just studying all the time." You know, you gotta be able to have that balance, man. Cause some some guys be burning out, man. You know, they burn themselves out. You know, it's this race is not uh, given to the swift. You know, um, this is Job ten and fifteen. If I be wicked, woe well unto me. You know, and that's the mentality that we should have, you know. If we just straight up being over wicked, you know, yeah, I need to be destroyed. And heck, we need to be destroyed anyway, man. You know, these bodies are going to get destroyed. We're not, uh, it say flesh and blood shall not inherit the kingdom of the Lord, man. You know, we all are, are worthy of death, you know, but it's through grace that Yahweh Simeon Sai is even going to be able to save his elect. You know? And that's what we're hoping for. 
So it says, if I be wicked, um, woe unto me. And if I be righteous, yet will I not lift up my head. You know, because you got some guys that, you know, think they know all the scriptures and they walk up with their head up high, you know, being proud and stuff like that. Or the fact that they think that, yeah, I'm righteous, yeah, I did the right thing. But then, at the same time, they not they being niggas and shit like that, man. You know, it says, I am full of confusion, therefore see thou mine affliction. Okay? For it increases... Okay, and we're going to always be increased, man. we always going to get that temptation, you know. And while we're in this society, it says, Thou huntest me as a fierce lion, and again, thou showest thyself marvelous upon me. You know, because, heck, you know, every happy moment that you have is going to be a sad moment right around the corner, man. You know, while we're in this society, you know. We got to look at it like, hey, man, we, we just uh, less fortunate over here, man. You know, but we was fortunate enough to, to hear this truth, you know. Um, so, yeah, this, 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 this truth is, um, you know, this life is, is meant to, uh, you know, come at us, man. Attack us, man. On all levels, man. From a righteous standpoint and, a, um, and from a, a wicked standpoint, you know. We going we going to get it, man. On 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 both levels, man. You know, so so when when you when you happy, you should be having that in the back of your mind, like yeah, man. I know that this all this all can get wiped away, man. You know, and when you wicked, I mean, not when 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 bad times are upon you, you should have that mentality, like yeah, I know that you know this this thing gonna go go bad go by. You know, y'all by some y'all side got me. You know. Um, this is Wisdom of Solomon, um, 1 verse 1. Uh, it says, uh, love righteousness, you that be judges of the earth. Okay. Think of the Lord with a good heart and in simplicity seek him. For he will be found of them that tempt him not. Okay. Being over, uh, um, over much wicked. And solve himself unto such as do not distrust, distrust them. Okay? And, and, you know, sometimes things may be going good onto you, you know, in your life and stuff like that. You might be sitting up there wondering, like, yo, like, what? You know, like, is the Lord dealing with me? Everything going good, you know? I know, it, it, like, you know, something got to happen tomorrow or something, and it might be something small, you know? But but you know that the Lord did it to 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 make sure that you on point, man. You know, it it could be all bad, but then you know you just sit up there, and you you trust in the Lord, you know, and that's when the Lord gonna continue to show Himself to you, man. It says, "For forward thoughts separate from uh, God, y'all by some y'all side, and His power, and when it is tried, reproves the unwise." Okay. Um. And those forward thoughts, you could be thinking forwardly over over righteousness, uh, and you could be forwardly uh, over wicked, okay. And and you can always be be um, you know reproved when it comes down to that, man, okay. Um, for into a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin, okay. Um, I'm going to get these last, uh, scriptures right here. I'm jumping to the 12th verse. It says, seek not death in the era of your life. Okay. So you, you might have something going on in your life. You might, you know, have done something wicked, you know, it says, seek not death in the era of your life and pull not yourself destruction with the works of your hands for God made not death. Neither have he pleasure in the destruction of the living. For he created all things that they might have their being and the generations of the world were healthful and there is no poison of destruction in them nor the kingdom of death upon the earth. For righteousness is immortal. Okay? So you, you walk on this path, man. You know, you, you're going to, you're going to, you know, walk in a straight path. You're going to, you're going to um, inherit uh, the kingdom, man. You know? Inherit uh, everlasting life. 
Okay? It says, but ungodly men with their works and, and words called it to them. You know, so the things that you say can, can call death unto you. Okay? For when they thought to have it their friend, they consumed to naught and made a covenant with it because they are worthy to take part of it. And we don't want to be uh, take part of of uh, of death, man. Okay. The 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 people out here that are over wicked, they're gonna get theirs, man. Okay. And and hopefully, you know, uh, this lesson was 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 edifying. Okay. Um, with that, I want to say salawam.